So there's a lot of reasons why you need to get your clients to choose the right lender. And it doesn't always have to do with your friends with them. Hey, I'm Kayla Lindsay with the True Lane Group, and some of you guys have probably been seeing the issue that's going around where conventional loans, the appraisers are following FHA guidelines and putting actual conditions on the loan for repairs. If you are having this issue, make sure to stay tuned to the very end. We're gonna talk about this issue and how you can avoid it. So first off, let's talk about the kinds of issues that are coming up. This could be anything from the appraiser claiming that you need a CO2 detector in the house to you needing to completely redo the subfloor in a particular room. Now, anybody that's been around the block even for a year with real estate knows why do we use conventional loans and love them? No conditions. That's right, I've sold some pretty rough looking houses usually to investors or people that wanna fix them up under conventional loans because they don't require things to be repaired. So what in the world is going on? Now, while I'm still working to find that answer and when I do, I will come back to you so you can better guide your clients, we know that it's happening right now and it's happening more often than we care to talk about because we've already had two in the last month that this has happened to. Based upon what I've been doing and asking other agents about this, it seems to be a problem that's happening quite a bit. How do we solve this? Well. One, make sure you're letting your clients know ahead of time this could happen. We don't know what they're gonna call out, when they're gonna call it out, or how they're gonna call it out, but they have to be prepared that if they wanna close on the home, that the repairs would have to be done prior to closing and they're gonna need a receipt that it was done. That's what the lenders are requiring. So how do we avoid this? One, make sure to do a pre-walk with your clients and see if there's anything you can catch that could be a challenge. Now, it doesn't mean they have to actually fix it, but at least you can let them know ahead of time what that problem might entail. Two, make sure you review with the lender whether or not they have these particular guidelines. And third, how do you avoid it? Make sure you're sticking with a lender that you trust. I'm gonna call it out, but the bigger banks and credit unions seem to be the ones that are having these challenges. And while we're looking into it to find out what's going on with appraisal guidelines, it's something that we can't control as agents, we can only guide. So what do we do? Guide your clients to a great lender. I recommend a local lender, things like Movement Mortgage, Dash Home Loans, uh, McLean Mortgage, or even go into other lenders such as, I don't know, anybody that you know around town, just not credit unions and not banks. I'm sorry to call it out, but I'm just calling it like it is because they're the ones that are having these challenges. So make sure you make your clients aware this has happened. And if you haven't had it happen to you, my fingers are crossed for you that it doesn't, but these are really good ways to avoid it instead of watching your deal blow up. So for more information, I'm gonna get that to you as I get it because this is something that's happening right now and it's affecting closings across the state. So I'm Kayla Lindsay with the True Lane Group. Hope you guys can apply this knowledge and choose the right lender. I'll see you soon.